Happy New Year, Veronica here. I know that a lot of us went through tremendous tumultuous times last year. We're waiting for the end of the world, for the solstice, then the fiscal cliff. But most of us that I know were changing and changing and changing by choice, wanting to move into a time of awakening. But now we've gone over the hill, we're in a new year, the end of the world is over, and we're beginning. And I keep wondering if the end of the world is real in the sense that I see waves of consciousness and change moving through our species, moving round and round and round the world, and I feel extremely optimistic that if we fan its flames, you and I, then we can really encourage this movement of consciousness around our world. One of the things you can do and I can do is pull up in ourselves. This is an old meditation you'll all be familiar with. Pull up in yourselves a very deep awareness of something like anger and bring it up and feel it and notice where it is in your body, exaggerate it. And as you do, it often dissipates. It often moves throughout your body and disappears. If it doesn't, call in your guides and angels and your higher self and say, take this. I often laugh and say, look what I'm doing with it. So they will take it and you will feel a shift. And as we call up various of those old emotions that are packed in there like pipe tobacco, you will find yourself releasing yourself from the tyranny of the subconscious and also extricating yourself from the relentless negative drive of our competitive collective so I wish us all a very, very happy new year, but more than that, I trust that we can all ride the waves of consciousness as they move round and round the world all year. Let's love each other. Happy New Year.